Yes. <laughs> a premiere made for the movies at the Berlinale. Oh, what it? Oh, oh wow, now it's turning in. Film star Daniel Brühl arrives on the red carpet with the driverless Audi A8 LW12 as chauffeur. Crowds throng the red carpet, fans, media, electromagnetic fields. A major challenge for the sensors of the Audi. The arrival will only be spot on if the technology works perfectly. Amazing, that went so smoothly. It took the corners well, did everything perfectly, drives you all by itself. The Berlinale couldn't get off to a more exciting start. Jury president Meryl Streep, Oscar-winning actress Tilda Swinton, heartthrob Channing Tatum. The Berlinale is a fixed date in the calendars of the Hollywood stars. Around 400 films and almost half a million cinema goers make this the world's largest audience festival. The comedy Hail Caesar is the opening film this year. Leading man and megastar George Clooney patiently attends to his adoring fans. I'm running around. Right. Hi, you, you okay? I'm doing great. How yeah, good. Are you? Good, we made it. I've got a pen. I've signed about a billion autographs. I'm good. Around 300 Audi shuttles bring the guests to the red carpet. The Audi Q7 e-tron 3.0 TDI Quattro even does it running purely on electricity. No emissions, but with plenty of emotion. There's a lot that connects films and cars. Both films and cars can evoke emotions. We have a long history on the silver screen. This year, Audi is one of the main sponsors of the Berlinale for the third time and brings piloted driving right to the heart of the megacity with the driverless A8 LW12. In the Audi Berlinale lounge, everyone can watch the live action on the red carpet. On February 20, the main prize, the Golden Bear, will be awarded for the best film. But Daniel Brohl and his ride up to the red carpet is already one of the highlights of the film festival.